Well, I've got the thing about basically deception. How do you know that Jesus is Jesus and not Antichrist? Yeah. But then you've got to... The thing has to be real in order to that, like Christianity, or at least God has to be real and stuff for Jesus to be an Antichrist. And I don't know. I could like no. Could I, I just mean within their well, like within their religious beliefs. There's a God and there's a devil mm-hmm. who deceives people. Yeah. How, how do you know it's not the devil? And then even in the Bible, it talks. It goes on about Antichrist and that. So they've set up a concept of Antichrist. Yeah. And then they could probably argue, oh yeah, but they they're talking about Antichrist. But it's like, well, if I was an Antichrist writing a book, I'd want to bring up Antichrist. Yeah. So you really didn't think it was me. Like, yeah, I would. I would say the Christian response would be, God wouldn't allow that to happen. It's His word, and He wouldn't allow it to be altered. But there's the no. Quran. I mean, the New Testament. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I get you. Like they wouldn't let the New Testament because it's divinely inspired. Yeah. Be a corrupt word. Yeah. But but there's the Quran. but people get corrupted in the final days from the Antichrist. Yeah. Like even good people get led away or something. Yeah. So it could have happened already. Yeah, but that's a pretty mass, big scale, like all of Christianity. Although, like Messianic Christians, Messianic Jews, and yeah. Messianic congregations think that like the whole of the Catholic Church is Satan, basically. <laughs> yeah. Is that well? I guess that's because they try to say, you know, oh yeah, Jews, you know. Yeah. You've yeah. got that thing. They but we've got this cool keep the new... Sabbath. You have Saturday, yeah. we'll have Sunday. Yeah. Jesus is pretty much like 80s cool fucking version of like religion. Like they had the, the nerdy, like 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 regimented like yeah. Sabbath and, and then Jesus come along and he's like, yeah, fucking rips his sleeve off. He's like, Jesus. He's like, yeah. He's kind of like, you don't have to wash your hands. The cool. I think the <laughs> thing with that. He doesn't want to wash his hands. I think the thing with that is. um that it was a Jewish custom and not an actual law. Like, I don't think there's a law that says you have to wash your hands. No, probably not. I mean, is that why you had a winch? Talking about when is that why Jesus had a winch? When they're like, wash your fucking hands. And he was like, don't you get it? Um, it's not what One of them should be like, dude, like Jesus, germs. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Say something about germs. <laughs> they didn't know. They no, know. they didn't know. That's the point. That's what he fucking should have done. When they said, like, oh, we wash our hands here, you know, you could have just been like, oh, yeah, also microbiote, like, organisms, you know. Yeah. They're pretty... But I think it said um, he doesn't know everything. Like, he's got a limited brain while he's Jesus on Earth. (sighs) Okay. Like, he's... Yeah. Did he say... So he could have said some wrong shit. (laughs) Which, Uh, like, he knew what he knew. Yeah. He just didn't know stuff. Well then, God's yeah, I don't know. I'd yeah, tell, well, I'd tell him about Jesus. But then, but, yeah. but that's almost semantics. Like if you say you're talking with a religious Christian or whatever, yeah, so like yeah, but it, there was a reason he didn't tell us about Jesus. Like they just yeah. fall on that crutch. Like, and he was just like, that was the time. Like he wasn't revolutionary really, and like yeah, like he wasn't here to change humanity on a path. Like, you know, he wasn't here to, was. to like, tell them about germs before... Like, yeah, because yeah, if you yeah. told he's them, letting things take its Yeah, course. like, if you told them about germs back then, how long would they, you know what I mean? They wouldn't have went through all those weird, bad medical things that would have washed their hands bet- between, before mm-hmm. and after. So, like, it was, I think it was only, like, in, like, the early 1800s or some shit, they figured out germs. Mm-hmm. So that, that's when, like, people start, like, stopped dying in birth and shit, because they weren't... Like dealing with amputees and then oh, giving yeah. babies, because like, yeah. there was no concept of germs. So I was like, well, that doesn't matter. I can touch a dead body. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't. I think. I think it was hygiene like, wasn't existing. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you can still. Yeah, you can still just feel like he, he wasn't here for that. <clears throat> he was here yeah. to save people in another way, yeah. not the cool practical way of like dying of like yeah, a, like life. a virus yeah. because you of <laughs> germs. He doesn't really care about that. Well, if heaven's real, then, you know, you, you don't die when you die. So, yeah. and it's meant to be so awesome that he is shit anyway. Um, so you think, basically, the anti- 
Jesus couldn't have been the Antichrist because the of... The Christian response would be, the main one I would think would be um, God wouldn't allow. God's, like, Jesus is God's word in the flesh. No, but he's... I know what you're saying, like, the Bible couldn't be tainted. Is that yeah, what you're saying? Like, regardless God of... wouldn't allow it. Why would God... <coughs> But, but he's that argument's flawed because there's other holy scriptures. Yeah, true. Like, like say Muhammad. Muhammad could yeah, have exactly. been the, Quran, the white one. Yeah. yeah. And Muhammad, like, I don't think he probably did it, but he could have said, like, yeah, no, Jesus is Antichrist. Like, he's my... Like, he didn't, but... There could be, like, if there was another holy book, right, that said, and then Jesus came and he was the Antichrist. Yeah, yeah it probably has just as much, you know, foundation and fair enough, that looks just as yeah. real as Christianity. Yeah. You could be like, all right... They've said that Jesus was the Antichrist. That's like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, I know what you mean. Like, well, it pretty much said it is it. an Antichrist teaching according to um, the New Testament's definition of Antichrist. It says, "Who is the Antichrist? He who denies the Son, um, denies uh-huh. that the Father, that God the Father, Jesus is His Son, or something. There's something about the Father Son." God oh, so they have, the Antichrist has to know about a son first. It's, like an Antichrist, the Antichrist just... rejects it. He is the liar who says that Jesus isn't God or Jesus oh, isn't okay. the son of God. Well, then I guess Jesus couldn't have been because there was no... He didn't deny he didn't deny any son. But what I mean yeah. is, like, the, the New he Testament sets him. up what an Antichrist is. Yeah. It's going to tell you its own little yeah, things yeah. about what an Antichrist is. Whereas all they could... Like, oh, what I'm saying is they could have set up just the concept, but it's not how they tell you it is. It's how it's what Jesus did. That's what the Antichrist does. Yeah. Like it's not. It's like it's kind of well, where's that written? But it doesn't need uh, to be written somewhere if it's a trick. But yeah, we know the main point of the Antichrist is to turn people away, and, like fuck, just fuck the system up. Yeah. So Jesus did that. Damn people. Which, by the way, why is God letting the devil um, send people to hell? Like it's a test. And yeah. you just let the devil fuck around, come it's, and just it's a game. wreak havoc, and literally like people stray and go to hell as a result. I think or that was work. another. I think that was like I've got a question that's because we these first probably twenty. You I think you've heard. If, yeah, number two, question two. People don't know any better than they're destined to stumble into hell. Yeah, which is but they just say God's sovereignty, sovereignty of God. Like nothing's out of side of His control. So if He wants you to be saved, He'd be saved. But then yeah. he doesn't want people to be saved, and that's messed up. Yeah, I. The fact that how can someone, if you haven't told someone something, how do they know? How do they know? Like yeah. if that, it's not, it's not it, like. But then they like you know, oh, the spirit, everyone, God touches everyone, and they just ignore him. Well, okay, like go talk to that person. They're not a prick. They will genuinely say they've never. They lived on an island. They didn't hurt yeah. like P- Papua New Guinea or something like that. Islander. Yeah. They wouldn't. They're not bad people. Like I mean, God says they're bad because He doesn't want to. We're all bad. We are, yeah, we're, we're all shit. So. That I hate that. That's a thing. That's such a central sh- thing. I know. We Self hate. Sinners, sinners and, and it's like the first. It's like the first rule that you're taught like. in like ethics or not ethics like like psych like psychology. Don't hate yourself because it's yeah. not good. Yeah. But that's the foundation of Christ- like Christianity. Yeah. We're probably so crap, every we're other. so special to you, God. You love us so much anyway, even though we're not deserving. Mm. We are deserving, I think. If God's the Father, then He really um, gave us a bomb steer. Like, put the devil in the garden, doomed us to go to hell. Yeah. And, and then He's so good that He saves us by killing His But son. our faults are His faults, right? Because no. God created us. We're created in God's image. Yeah, God, God creates everything. So our faults are his faults. Yeah, nothing exists outside of God. Yeah, no, nothing outside. is that. So even our faults are his faults. Like, mm. That's like I create a robot. And I say, oh, okay, like I've created this awesome robot. Go out and like make other robots if you want. I've programmed you to do whatever, like, whatever the fuck you want. Like, go nuts. And then the robot, like, I don't know. I guess I could, I'm trying not to be as... Trying to be a bit more ambiguous. <laughs> you know, like, anything it does, 
even if it's free will, I've made like if its legs don't work properly, so it wants the and it falls off. You. I'm like, I, I made those legs, shit. Like, yeah, I can't really go. You fool, you fell off. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. suck. You're a shit yeah. robot. The buck stops well, with going. Yeah, I know, but yeah, yeah. like, it, but Definitely. but the the suffering it's, it's like stops with us. God doesn't suffer. No. Like God hasn't even set up something. Oh, like he, he grieves. He grieves and like his heart breaks for us. No. According to Christians. That's cute. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like he'd be like like looking like looking in like a window to hell. It's like mm. I could. <laughs> yeah. I could say the most even if he yeah even yeah. if he is grieving and sad he's that's a bit psychopathic it seems yeah. to me. But but like, oh, yeah. I just have to send you to hell that I created. And the thing is, like, this is this is all religious people say is obviously mystery, mysterious. We don't get mm. it. It's he's per- like blah blah blah. But what they're doing is they're putting themselves in his shoes, mm. and they know it's wrong. They know it's. They know that they do something different. Yeah. They either actually deny it and just sound like a fucking prick, like a. They they would watch someone go to hell, or they think it's mm. fair enough. Yeah. Or they just end up going instead of saying I'll do something different. Oh. The answer literally is God works in mysterious ways. Yeah. Like that's their like. There's not like. That's not like a third answer. That is their answer for saying I would. Yeah, you're right. Like that sucks to me. Yeah. But yeah. instead of saying yeah, yeah, the answer is mysterious. Like you know, we don't know any better. It's like yeah. well, you thought about what you set up as knowing better, you've already thought about that, so what else constitutes knowing better? Like, so we, you know, if you're saying that's not better, fair enough, you don't know better, but if you've said something that seems better, as in like getting everyone out of hell, putting everyone in heaven, then you know better. Yeah, you seemingly know better, but you don't understand the mind of God. Mm. As far from the heavens are yeah. from the earth is God's ways from our ways. But yeah, like, why, are you okay? why, why did he create us to think like that? Yeah. What's the point of that? And have us actually, like, eh, like fumbling, guessing. Like, he's know. like, my way's the way, but I'm not telling you it. Yeah. And and if, like, yeah. well, you know what I mean? Because they'd be like, he God's mysterious he ways. He tell us. He but it's through Jesus. Yeah, Jesus didn't say shit. Jesus didn't. Jesus should have watched his. If Jesus washed his hands, I swear, he's I'd be a Christian. <laughs> that day, if he, if he decided to wash his hands, I'd be a devout Christian. He also spat in mud and wiped it on someone's eyes and made them see. Yeah, and he spat in someone's ear too. Really? Yeah, he, uh, spat, on, yeah, he spat on someone's ear. Or in, or on his... Uh, he gave a wet willy. <laughs> Jesus was a spitter. Um, no, yeah, because I remember I was hearing, listening to... Um, probably Matt Delahunty talk about it. And he was saying that there's, yeah, I think there's three different stories where Jesus uses spit. No, it was Richard Carrier. Mm. And he was talking about how, like, they use metaphors to mean things so later on they can come back in the same gospel and yeah, bring yeah. it up like it's deliberate. about that format. Yeah. I think it was, I forget the word, it was kind of weird. I think it was like a, like, hope, like, um, Homer used to use it, the old Greek philosopher dude, and they literally used his exact same mechanics of how to write like a cool tale. And yeah, that's yeah. what Matthew used, or Mark, whatever the first gospel was. Mark, Matthew. No, I think it was Mark. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. No, but like oh, the time-wise, time yeah. they, like yeah. Matthew, Luke, and John, all of those those red Mark, and then make wanted to make Mark better. I, I don't know. That's what, that's what I saw in Richard Carrier. He tells oh, yeah, about yeah, it. I got you. Yeah. 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 Um. The director of the internship that I was doing last year, he said uh, that a lot of biblical scholars reckon that they were all made from a, mm. possibly all made from a, like all yeah. one copy, like one text. Yeah. I think it's uh, and I think it's because <coughs> Mark's like the the simple one that doesn't elaborate mm. or something like. It's as if basically someone read it and went, like the tomb, I reckon we should add angels and lightning. And another one was like, the tomb, eh, it's a bit boring, could use like a little kid in there. 
Yeah. Cause that I think it seems like the default story, but very. Mm. Oh, you're a good boy. You are a good boy, and you're very proud of yourself, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're proud of yourself. Okay. I think he's like center stage. He's like, right now the thing on the real video begins. <laughs> Should we? That, that, million likes. Yeah. Us, ten, I think. Okay, the, the, the Ten Commandments. No one gives a shit about them. Uh, they generally like most of them, except they don't like the Jew stuff. Like the Sabbath. <laughs> Them pesky Jews. Yeah. They've stuffed up. Silly Jews. They, they they're just, the Jews. That's. I know. I know. <laughs> it's almost yeah. like. I don't know. Every time they might they re read King of the Jews in the New Testament, they go, fuck. Mm. Like, it's wow. so Jewish. I know. Right? Jesus I know is like, let's go. Like, Jews. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Jews are sick. If what Jesus thought he was the Messiah of the Jews, Jesus. Like, you know what I mean? He was wrong. Jesus was wrong about his own prophecy. Why? Um, Wasn't he? Didn't he think he was the saviour of the Jews as well at the time? Yeah, saviour for all mankind. He was... No, but as in, like, he thought he was the Jews' idea of the Messiah. Yeah, well, he but then he got the Jewish killed. Messiah that was prophesied. No, but, but then he died and the Jews were like, oh, no. Yeah, no. They, yeah but he was meant to do that. Like, for, he was dying for our sins. But... He was supposed to fuck over the Jews. Like, no, no. well, the Jews well, still believe yeah, he was the Messiah. That's not I mean. Yeah, yeah. There's like, if you're not Judeo Christian, you probably think Jews are going to hell. Don't you? If you're not Judeo Christian, you're going to hell. Because don't they not read the New Testament? Yeah. No, they're going to hell because they haven't accepted Jesus. Although, there is a letter in Paul, in one of the letters from Paul, where he says, Don't accept Jesus. Yeah, but that's not the point. The point is, you have to accept Jesus. Yeah, but that's not the point. The point is, that there's the mystery of the Jews and sort of points to their salvation and God's got a plan for them. Okay. So until then, everyone, everyone who's like believes in God is supposed to probably maybe think that they got to hell. But that's part everyone of the plan. believes in God. Well, people that are like uh, that think the Jews got to hell, they're still going to heaven. Like they still follow the Bible. Some like that. Right. Like the Pharisees, oh. I think you might have said the Pharisees are going to hell, or insinuated they're going to hell. Mm -hmm. in the New Testament. Who are the Pharisees again? Like they the head of the church back the then. Law, yeah. Yeah. Are they the ones in Passion of the Christ that like have the yeah. sticks and stage yeah. and shit? Yeah, rip, rip their robe. Yeah. Didn't Jesus hate them? Jesus fucking hated them, eh? He tore in them. He like said, called them snakes, split the tables yeah. and shit. Root of vipers. Come from a long line of vipers. Yeah. And that's why everyone thinks it's related to the devil. It's like not. It's like that was just a common payout back then. Was I talking to you about that? Like the whole Lilith. Garden of Eden thing. Yeah. How it was originally just a story about the girl who was originally made for Adam, but she wanted to be her own and not serve Adam. Mm. And Adam and I, I don't know if he like, like parlayed with, you know, G Man, but I'm pretty sure they were like, yeah, get rid of her. She's shit. Like she wants, you know, she wants equality. That's stupid. So what? She's damned to die. Well, she went away into the garden or whatever, and then when they made Eve. To like follow oh, Adam, okay, yeah. she came back and was like, "Fuck Eve!" Like, I, so I she, was she resented Eve, so she's like, "Eve, come in." Was she the serpent or was the serpent? Yeah, she was the serpent, and that's why all the original depictions of the snake in the tree are half woman, half snake, because it's as if to say that. she was a woman, but she's such a snake because that was such a strong power back then. <clears throat> she's such a snake that they just depicted her as half a snake. Yeah, like, like the, the snake was never the devil. I mean, it's never, look through, um, it doesn't it's, say it's the devil, never yeah. even, yeah, never even the, the devil. The serpent was the craftiest of all the creatures. It kind of sounds like it's a crafty creature, like they don't even really, yeah. if, it, if it is meant to be the devil, and the author's meant for it to be the devil, then um, that could have been more clear. But the devil was so... Such a 
Like he was hidden in the Old Testament. He was only like mentioned like once, and he was only referred to. He was only referred to directly, very, like, not even three times. I don't think. There's a thing in I think it's Ezekiel. Okay. There's a little writer. It's but that's like the one. Because you know, like they call him like Star of David or like no, the, the was, great. They call him Morning Star. Morning Star. That's it. Son of David's like actual good star. What a star of David. Yeah, the flag. Yeah, they always, but they never really like just talk about him, and they never really act as if he's got this. Ah, oh, bit my tongue. It's only New Testament that they really talk about him a lot. Mm. Jesus talks about wow. Satan. That was a metaphor. A bit. I bit my tongue because I was talking. Maybe God didn't work what you were saying. Yeah, I know. And the whole tongue being snakes. Yeah. Deal with it. Just cope. Why does only India believe in and have a council of Krishna? So that's just about other nations actually not only not knowing, but fully getting totally misled. By just misleading themselves. I, I don't or know. Or by a devil if like the whole yeah, thing. The devil's everywhere but the Middle East. Like, olden day world. Like, say you believe in the Bible, right? Yeah. Pretty much back then, if you think that they, they were getting deceived or God just didn't want to... Either God was focusing on the Middle East or wherever, like, you know, like Bethlehem or like, you know, yeah. where it happened, the Bible and shit, Jordan yeah. and all that. The devil was everywhere else in the world. Like, the, the devil was just doing whatever the fuck he wanted. Like especially with sin. Sin would have been happening all around the world back then. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Like the devil was out there going nuts with everyone. The and world God is was like, Satan's domain, it says. Oh, yeah, true. Like he's the prince of this world now. Yeah. So basically, God put us on earth to to let the devil play with us. And we have to escape the devil. Um, we don't have to escape the devil. We have to no. run our course in life and preach to other people, share the good news, which isn't good news. Yeah. <laughs> the good news is you're saved. Yay! Unless you, you know, do From this the hell business. that God would otherwise send you to. <laughs> <laughs> I love suffering. It's such a... T- I, I love, well, well, excerpt, taking out of context. I don't love suffering. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> That'll be edited to make yeah. that free. <laughs> On the next episode, I love suffering. Um, it's such a fucking topic that no one... They, what do they do? What would they do with the, on the topic of suffering? It's, part, it's our rebellion. We have we live in a broken world because we rebel from God. So what, what, what your ancestor does is your fault? No, we all would have done it. That's, you know... Adam and Eve, yeah. and just, it's not just them, we would have done so it. Everyone would have done it. Everyone, everyone would have had a right. sin nature. Although we got our sin nature from them. But a lot of people, anyways, a lot of Christians I've heard say, we all would have done it. Like, we all would have done it. But that's messed up. They've done what, before. though? Like, we, they were deceived. That's the whole point of it. Yeah. Like, they didn't know they were doing it. Like. Well, God said, don't do it, and they did it. Which is kind of dictatorial. He didn't explain why. Or he said, you'll yeah. die if you eat from it. But why? No, why but is it like, like when someone's just... deceived, right? We know now that you know their minds altered. They they're not doing something that's like say them. We have a sin nature now, huh? We have a sin nature now. Yeah, but before that we didn't, it? right? Yeah, no. So before exactly. anyone had a sin nature, they still would have done it. Yeah. So they, but but what I mean is like they were deceived, like they were tricked. Yeah. So it's not like they were intent, like, you know, it was without intention, like. Yeah. There's laws now that's like, oh, if you didn't intend to do it, it's just, you know, like, what do you call it in court cases? Like, it's unintentional manslaughter or whatever they call mm. it. It's not manslaughter because they know. It's like, well, it wasn't you. It's mm. Like, if you're tricked, someone's, like, actually hypnotised if it works. But anyway, like, say someone's actually hypnotised, they do something. If they're tricked or whatever, you know, you don't blame really, them. Yeah. We didn't know better, really. Hmm. If we knew better, we wouldn't have done it. Yeah, if he went, okay, all right. I've created you guys, let's sit down and have a chat. Watch out for the serpent. There's yeah, the yeah, serpent yeah. Yeah. Thing. He's crafty, he's a liar. Yeah. And he's going to mess with you. Like, I'm not going to tell you, Adam and Eve, this. I'm going to tell these guys that are going to write it in, like, ages. You've I'm going to tell them about it. it. Like, they'll know about it. 
What about the... About Adam and Eve, and the, the snake's crafty, and the whole yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to know about the whole situation. Yeah. But Adam and Eve aren't going to know about... The yeah. ones that actually matter aren't going to know about. Yeah. Yeah. How do they know about Genesis? It was a setup. Like, what was God doing just watching them die? Like, mm. go the, to go to the tree and die. And yeah. rebel. Why does he go, hey, I told you. It's like, he's, he's meant to love us more than we can understand. So. Yeah. It's not a good setup. I'm not impressed. So that, but that's a loophole for them as well, more than we can understand. So when you un- try to understand it, they're like, yeah, see, you came up with the moral way, but this guy is actually not like morality. So he's totally just. But it's not like we can see that it's wrong. Yeah, it's no. barbaric and old. Like just, you know, but what do they do? They just construct of a not advanced. Yeah, I know. Barbaric people. Yeah, like, I'm going to send my son down to... Like, back then, I'm pretty sure, like, um, like India and, like, like, Arabia and all that, that, they were pretty smart back then, I'm pretty sure. Like, basically, well, whenever, whenever Jesus existed, um, Jordan and, you know, all that, were dumb. Like, they didn't know how to read right. And, like, other parts of the world did. Like yeah. other parts of what we're doing pretty pretty good, like Rome. Yeah. Go yeah, to Rome. Rome. Go to the Greek ph- go to the Greek philosophers when they were like at the peak of their greatness. Mm. <laughs> like being all cool and coming yeah. up with like Plato. Yeah. Imagine if Jesus went to Plato or Homer or I don't know, all those crazy dudes back then. Instead of going to like technically actually like really no one that is directly talks about. Okay. Except for Peter. The only person he actually went to straight up is a, like pretty much that actually was like oh, I'm talking to you like go right it was pretty much Peter like the gospels weren't written by Matthew Mark Luke and John mm. they were just the gospels according to Matthew Mark Luke and John yeah. they never even state who they are in the book yeah. so why did God um it's such a poor way to communicate himself to make himself known to people so that they can be saved mm. I guess would would you have to would you have to just basically say like, it's a test? Yeah. Like what? Like when something's can. hard, when something's hard to grasp, or it has to be found. Like knowledge has to be found. You can't just actually innately have it, even though like presuppositionalists like Cy Ten Bruggen Gate or whatever his name is, he says that everyone actually knows. So That's anyone right. who anyone knows about everyone knows about the revelation. Everyone has a revelation. Everyone knows about Jesus. Yep. Everyone knows the story. Oh, not I don't know the like details of it, mm. but basically everyone knows because we're like God's creation. So everyone is denying God, even if they just don't ever know anything yeah. about anything. They're still doing it. In one of Paul's letters, it says um, that something along the lines of I don't know the exact wording, but it says. All of creation is testi- like testifies to the existence of God or something. Basically, that's what yeah. it's saying. So if you're alive and you see the world, it, it's a you've seen God. God and you're without excuse. It says you're without excuse on the day of judgment. Holy shit. So, but obviously, obviously, so that's, you ever that's not the case. case. Like, no one, <laughs> nearly everyone doesn't look at all creation and go, God's real. And that's what I mean. He, he even put that in his Bible, which is like look, the best of his best. You know what I mean? He, he was like, wanted put, in the Bible. he wanted that in the Bible, the bit yeah. that says if that's existence is reality, which he, and he knew that would conflict with us today and science. He knew all these things would conflict yeah. in our day now, but he's like, no, 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 still put it in the book. Yeah. Even though that is going to be the coffin and the nail for some people to not believe in me, yeah. put it in the book. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. He knows our minds, so if he's real, but it just seems clearly wrong to me. And then they just come back to the cop out of the devil, like, you know, it's such a cop, it's just like a, ugh. God created him. It's so simple. It's such mm. a simple, God created him, that's it. Yeah, I know. Like, what, okay, the devil is going to mess us up. Thanks, God. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a messenger, it's like a bad messenger of God. Well, not a messenger. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. It's affected angel. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like he set up a little, tr- like a booby trap. Yeah. Like, he set up a booby trap obstacle game. course. Life is a sick game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone loses. 
But unless you accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour. Yeah. Yeah, unless you take the detour that goes against basically everyone's logic. innate sense of logic and reason. Like, yeah. More than most people. <laughs> or just discussion. Like, yeah. Yeah. And it's like if you like, yeah, if you're discussing with a religious person, their discussion isn't. I don't know, like their 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 argument is coming from the perfect word of God, the Creator of the universe. So He sh- automatically shits on all of us, like me, you, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. They're they're talking on behalf of Him and the, His book, which is actually what they admit. Joel got their God would admit is basically His only one time that He really came, and that's His word. There's nothing else anywhere. It's basically the Bible, mm-hmm. and it's not a good argument. Like, it doesn't have, yeah, it doesn't have structure, it doesn't have, like, it's got the same trappings and circular reasoning that we wouldn't attempt. Like, it's not convincing to Yeah, most like, people. we wouldn't start to do the, what they have to do, what they have to do, like... What do you mean we wouldn't start Circular reasoning and things. Like, mm. circular logic. Like, going... Oh, well, this because the Bible. This because the Bible. It's like, yeah, but you're not branching, you're not appealing to me right now. I don't believe your Bible. Like, Sounds you reasonable. saying the Bible is nothing. Like, that doesn't mean anything. Every time you say the Bible and cite it, as if, oh, get ready, I've got this thing from the Bible. Yeah. It's like, okay, well... It's God's word, and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, but that's my point. Like, I think it's not God's word. Yeah. And they set out to not, like, to tell you that it... Like if I was gonna write, a, like if I was gonna write a book and I wanted people to believe it, I'd say this book is a bullshit. That's the first this thing. Is I, bullshit. Isn't bullshit? Yeah. This book is not bullshit. I'm the best historian yeah. ever. This is so real. Oh my god! Like totally check it out. What's that? Contradictions? Ah, no. Don't worry about contradictions because you know, I, the way I write, weird. If you see a contradiction, you know, you don't get it. Yeah, you don't get it. That's the thing. Mm. Every time you hear that. No, well, oh, we don't understand. It's so know. down that Christianity is um, a real downer in the human spirit. Like, very. It is. Doesn't believe in yourself. <laughs> like, yeah, no, it is. Defeatist. Mm. But, yeah. It's funny that something so. that is so. like, it self proclaims that it's, like, so compassionate. Like, it is love and. It's humility and it's like equality and everyone's like loved by this dude. Yet, yeah, it's like so negative. Like the base, the base. That's what I want to like say to, like if I'm talking to Christians and they, like, because they love, they'll love talking about like surface topics, you know, like science and the age of the universe. I don't, like, fuck, who cares? I don't actually don't really care about that right now. The base of your belief says that we're all shit. That this guy from, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know when you see the, like, the passages? It's like Christianity. But, 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 like, like, there was a dude and a girl, he ate an apple, we're all bad, like, we suck, we have to, like, this dude killed himself and his, him dying purified our blood for the yeah, rest so of eternity. Yeah, so really sad Like, it's like, what the so hell? Really That's messed up, sad yeah. reality, like. At least, like, yeah. and then, it's like they don't admit that. Like, I don't, I haven't really heard that many like Christians and that just say, yeah, it's like depressing. It's it's like a pretty gruesome, um, carnal, you know, like a very flesh, like blood, like yeah. dying. Like God requires a blood sacrifice. Blood. Yeah. Why blood? Jesus loves blood why did, so much. Why did God set our brains up to nowadays? Um, detest the blood concept, like blood sacrifice and stuff. Yeah, like um, even even animal God's sacrifices. Why he, are... he deals? Yeah, yeah. Why do you give our mo- like? Why are our minds like ooh yuck? Most people would hear that and think it's barbaric and reject it. I know. So and if someone was to say like that the devil, or so, if someone even went towards the devil because of that, I'd be like, so you think that the devil is telling people that it's 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 bad to kill? other humans or other like, animals like because that's what they'd have to be implying if they're like that the devil is saying 
Well, you're saying why do humans have this concept of that it's wrong to yeah, kill yeah, for yeah. for for God's glory or something? You know, sacrifices. It's just, yeah, it just seems barbaric. Like yeah, Aztecs did sacrifices. Why is God doing sacrifices? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why, yeah. But that's what I mean. Like, well, like a religious so, person, like a Christian, and that would say, like, what would their defense for that be? Like, why have we? They'd have to say it's something to the devil. Probably. Uh, well. That's that would be a smart way to do it, like say our our brains are a little bit warped, so we think it's but like it's so obviously not cool. But that's what I mean, it's like that's that's doing the devil is like, yeah no, nah, don't kill don't yeah, yeah sacrifices so are that. Nice. So the devil's pretty fucking cool. Like the devil makes more sense to us. Mm. Our innate like, yeah, no, that's wrong. The yeah. devil makes more sense to us. And like I Assuming don't think you can argue that he doesn't say that he's that he's making us think that feel that way but no but yeah like and it, yeah it's such a it's such a trope of like religions as well like sacrifices and that like what a coincidence that the bible has a sacrifice and it's like it's like a huge sacrifice like was it the first one that like sent down a divine creature to be killed uh yeah well, well was big, divine, was I guess it was the first big one. Because, like, think about no, it. Like, it, was never, it was never humans, it was always animals. Too. Yeah, because that's kind of all it ever really got to, eh? Like, it was like Aztecs get closer to the heavens, kill humans. And then it's like they could have just went, all right, what's better than that? Killing a human. What about if God killed yeah. himself? Mm-hmm. Like, he sacrificed himself. <laughs> At first, he'd be like, that's shit. And he'd be like, oh, no, nah, but, like, make him like he has a son that's, like... Him, but they're different persons. Yeah. Which. Yes, yeah. we. But that, but but like that would like you can kind of see how they would have like started to go, like let's do a sacrifice because it's it's the it's central about sacrifice. That's mm. Christianity yeah. right there. Sacrifice. That's. Yeah, there's nothing that. else. That it's Jesus came and he died for us. Done. Like sacrifice. Mm. And it was all planned by God. So yeah. Because like, there had to be. Sacrifice. Yeah, there had to be a perfect sacrifice. Mm. Couldn't be a sinful sacrifice. Had to be a perfect sacrifice. Had to be a sacrifice. I guess it was yeah. because we're we're already sinful, right? So any sacrifice we do is worthless. We're not worthy. So it's like I have to be one. the guy who sacrifices something. You have to be good to take the hit. Yeah. That's not sensical. That does, that's not just. Yeah. Shouldn't the bad one take the hit? Shouldn't yeah, the devil have been sacrificed? Justice. And there's Christianity. That because that would literally absolve us. Of us absolve us of our sins because the creation of sin has died yeah, yeah. so it's like why didn't he send, tell Jesus to go to the Roman dudes Pilate Pontius Pilate shit that'd be a cool that'd be a cool story why didn't he tell Jesus to go to Pontius Pilate no oh, why didn't God course. tell the devil or why didn't Jesus like punch the devil in the gut drag him to Pontius Pilate and be like this is sin like, this is sin incarnate. This is, like, the embodiment of, basically, sin. Mm. And then they say, crucify the devil. That'd be sick. You can start a sect, I'm almost positive. Yeah, sure. Start a little sect. If anyone wants to join, <laughs> yeah. what would it be? Um, yeah. But, like, that, that, that actually would make more sense yeah. to me. Like, I find it really hard to argue if they said, 2,000 years ago, the devil was actually, like, they got the devil sacrificed him, he died, so now sin does he had to, or at least say he had to go back to hell, and he can't be on earth anymore. Mm. So... Yeah, why is God waiting to send him to hell? He's going to hell, according to Jude, the book yeah. Jude. Okay. Um, hell is... It talks about how people are going to hell, and God originally, it was meant for Satan, and he's followed the demons. Yeah. But so, is the devil not there right now? No. He's chilling and like hanging around and causing havoc in the world. So he's the devil's not even in hell, right? No. He's 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 kind of he's, he's going to hell on judgment. The devil. Yeah. The devil doesn't hang out in hell right now. Nope. Are you fucking serious? I'm I thought serious. he was. I thought like he was in hell, but he like pulled he's the strings the from hell. I thought he pulled the strings from no, hell. No, no, no. Oh my god! What the hell? He's not what the, the godfather, hell? Father, like doing it from prison. Literally, what the hell? <laughs> what is hell? That was later, judgment. Like, oh, some people say that heaven and hell is now, and but that wouldn't make sense because it says, I'm pretty sure it says somewhere in the Bible that 
Like on Judgment Day, yeah. So you Same think that people are hell. in limbo right now? Not limbo, purgatory. No. Because, you, well, you're saying like heaven and hell isn't that? around till Judgment Day. Yeah, oh, so they're like right asleep. Now? They're asleep. Like humble, like time table or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they chill uh, with trunks and go. No, nah, I reckon they're like more aliens, like in a sleeping chamber. So, purgatory? Isn't that purgatory? No, I don't know. Purgatory it's is purgatory. like floating around and not. Oh, I, actually, I don't know. Probably. No, purgatory. No, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of something to do with a speech bar. Maybe. Purgatory is the waiting. I think the waiting for heaven or hell. Well, isn't that? For judgment. That's what I mean. That's what but in my one, you're asleep. Oh, sorry. You don't. It's like you're asleep. <laughs> I picture you like, you know, like kindergarten where you have sleep time, like 15 minutes. Yeah. Everyone's kind of like, oh, when's it judgment day? Like, shit, I'm uncomfy. Like, can I change no, beds? No, no. <laughs> like, it's been explained to me as being like you're asleep and you wake up and you're like, uh, like you die and then yeah. you wake up in heaven or, or in judgment. Judgment day. Yeah. It does say that, like, there will be resurrection, dead people will be resurrected. Yeah. Well, everyone is. So I know that everyone is judged, judgment day. Even the ones that were yeah. already eligible for heaven. They come, they're resurrected and... Uh, Luckily, they put to sleep in purgatory. Because if they were in purgatory, they did something wrong. Like, you know what I mean? They'd be like, oh shit, now I'm going to fucking hell. Like, I was already eligible for heaven because of this purgatory shit. Uh, I fucked up in purgatory. You stuff up there, you fall away there. Yeah, purgatory. that's what I mean. Like, mm. If you, like... You know what I mean? No, like, that's why this life is the big test. This life is yeah, the one that matters. Yeah. I'd way rather assume that this is the only life we have. Mm. But I, um, fuck. Living your life with heaven in mind now. And I was like, all kind of doing it last year. Blows my mind. But I was Did it ever actually, yeah, it didn't ever oh, convince yeah. you. Yeah. Mm. You were never like, like, yeah, no, 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 no. Because I, I was if you actually believed like, in it, you wouldn't that happen? Um, well, yeah, I had, I had big doubts. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I have a mind, so things didn't add up. Like, yeah. things just don't seem logical or reasonable or good. And if you start to think about, oh my God, like, you try to make yourself go, yes, I can see heaven. It's fucking beautiful. You're like, this is no different than me going, like... I want to live in New York with Spider-Man. Like, it's kind of like... You can try, but you can't. Like, what I mean is, like, the word belief, right? Like, we believe in gravity. Yeah, yeah. We don't know gravity. We, like, okay, I don't know. That sounds a bit philosophical, but... you got to actually believe it and yeah. be like, yeah. Like you, be, like, you can't change it. Like, it's there. It's like, you believe it. Like, sorry. It's kind of like, yeah, I kind of choose it. Like, here we go. Yeah. Gravity. Yeah. But it's like... If you actually believed in heaven, I don't. I've never. Heaven. I haven't met a Christian that seemed yeah, yeah, convinced. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. You'd be like, "Holy, my... that's mm. what I was." You seem like a wacko, actually. You... Yeah, full on. Yeah, full you on, probably like, seem like a fucking... New Testament preaching. Yeah, 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 yeah. Street preaching. Yeah. Literally, I'd be crying. Every second of your day, you'd be crying. I'd be crying. I'd be like, be "Oh sad. my God, heaven!" Like crying. Mm. And I, like heaven, like eternity. And everyone's going to hell. That's awesome. Like, what a bummer. Oh, yeah. Right no, another thing. Heaven. So, I'm in heaven, right? If I was in heaven and, say, oh, pretend my dogs were humans, but say Slinky and Limbo went to hell, mm. and they're like, actually humans, whatever, relatives or something. I'm, hell is, ah, uh, heaven's perfect. Yeah, so happy in that. Mm. So... Basically, I don't care about my dog, like about my dogs being in hell, because you know what I mean. Like, I, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the archetype of heaven if I was worrying about my dogs. Yeah. It's not like everyone's in heaven, like yeah, like white party yeah. clouds. Oh, like you know, with, like you know, like yeah. Oh. It's been explained to me that you're in kind of a um, ignorant bliss, like hmm. you, they're not on your mind. Go tell, like, who would want? Who would think that's good? Yeah. Going, ah, I can't... Like, pretty much Montgomery Burns. I can't remember the people in the forest. Were in hell. Yeah. My fucking relatives. Yeah. And especially, let's say, you're, you're the only one from your family that went to heaven. 
Mm. So you're in heaven, like wide eyed, like glassy eyes, like, oh Jesus, oh my God, thank I'd you for it's, it's a bigger understanding. You understand stuff like different how it actually is. But how it actually is is there in hell. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, there's, yeah. Not a, there's not a there's not there's not a greater thing than that. And if they say that there's a greater thing, then oh, they might. It's like okay, well, stop believing. Like, I'm sorry, but stop believing the Bible if you think it's not that. The Bible doesn't say it might not be that. It, it doesn't say this. It doesn't say in the last paragraph. This whole book was a parable. This whole book was a. Uh, allegory. When it's talking about heaven and hell. Just yeah, just I mean, just everything, yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, no, 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 some parts, there's foundations, there's how it is. Yeah. If you're in heaven, and all your rallies are in hell, if, you, if you're not grieving for them, or if you don't, like, feel a bit shit about it, but what they'll probably, probably say is your grief gets weighed onto God or something. You're so overjoyed to be in the presence of God, I think. Like, that's how it's meant to be. You're meant to be in unity with God. Like, yeah. In his presence, intimate slave. Pretty yeah. much, the, you lose your you lose your mind because your mind is the thing that we know right now. So you yeah. basically you lose that. Yeah. Because my mind. Let's say it's a sin nature, so our mind isn't how it should be. Yeah. Like. So it'd be a sin for me to grieve for my my the things that should have went to hell. It was a sin to think to feel sorry for them. No, it wouldn't be a sin to feel sorry for them, but. That, that goes be, away. be released of that, yeah. I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't no like way. It. That's like saying that. right now, like, oh, that person passed away. Yeah, but I wish I could forget about it. I wish I could not. I wish I could just not know if they have died. It's like, yeah. Ew. Yeah. No, like, get be be sad. That sucks. Yeah. yeah. That's disgusting. Like that yeah, sucks. Definitely. I hate that. That's why it's that. But that. But that's that's why no one wants to be. Or atheist, agnostic, whatever. No one will, like because it doesn't like on paper. It sounds depressing. That being said, Christianity sounds really depressing on paper. So Christianity sounds more depressing to me. No, no, it does. That eternity is. worshiping the great leader, singing <laughs> the great leader's praise all eternity. I know. Yeah, you yeah. can't even. Like, can you can't? Can you do stuff? You play. Yeah, it sounds like you can't actually chill out. Like, yeah, it sounds like just like euphoric worshiping God, worshiping His holiness and greatness. Yeah, it sounds like you know we see those churches where they're all wacko. Even like Christians would watch and go, oh, yeah. like, Ugh. what? What heaven is that? I don't see why you think that's so stupid. There's no need for wives in heaven. Why was that a thing? Like Adam and Eve, he created Adam and Eve. Yeah. To be with each other, he said it's not good that man should be alone. Okay. May and Eve, so they're married, they're the first married couple, they're together. Jesus says there'll be no need for wives in heaven, so it sounds like... You just why do you do that? Single again. Like, if... Yeah, yeah, if yeah. Set like up something like returns cool, to perfection, shouldn't it? Yeah. Like, do you mean like he set up a law that is it perfect on earth? Is that what you mean? Because if perfection is heaven, then there's no marriage. Why would he set up a thing that's not emulates heaven, doesn't emulate heaven in a way, it's different. It's yeah, like yeah, thing. well, it was like that before the fall. Like that, things were, everything was still good, mm. everything was perfect, he created man, oh, except man shouldn't be alone, so he fixed it, Yeah. made Eve, so, and that was still perfect, the only thing that caused the fall, the fall was when they rebelled from God by letting the serpent eat from the tree. Did Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve did they like boink? They boinked that. Yeah. Were they married? Oh, they, well, I didn't say them. Was, was, was God like, shit, there's not a soul. He sanctified it. Was he he like, made them for each other. So, so that was the marriage. It would have been funny if he was like, Oi, devil, can we borrow you for a sec? Like, no one's around, we need a celibate. Like, <laughs> we need to celebrate. We, we need a, what's the word, a referent to, oh, like, sanct- uh, to do the marriage. Yeah. Celibate. Celebrant, yeah. Celebrant or celibate? Celebrant. Brent. Yeah, yeah. celebrant. But at the end, it was like, all right, 20 minutes, I'll do it. Like, freaking, I'll be the only one around here, unless you want to do like a rhino or a freaking giraffe. It would have been God. It spoke, they spoke to God. God but they didn't, God. like, get married. Is in, like, rings, the whole no. tradition of marriage. No. They didn't do no. that. No. Fuck yeah, they skipped that. And so they had Cain and Abel, right? Yeah. Cain and Abel, fuck Eve. Fuck, let's be honest. Nah, they just, there are other people that just, nah, it did, it just mentions the guys, I think. I think they had daughters and they weren't, that's the 
think the Did the daughters common. probably from their ribs, baby, or something? No, born from sex. Well, who, who, who fucked who? Eve and Adam. So just oh, so they have more kids? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's more kids. They had, um... Did they? Yeah. Did it say that? How do they they had Seth kids? after Cain and Abel. Oh. I don't know. Was Seth, like, the third child? I don't know if they had heaps more kids, but they had Seth. And I think they were... What? Were you, what, what? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I guess incest has to happen. It's not, like, a bad thing. If it's... That's all he's around. People say, um, people have said that, um, maybe God created more people, and Adam and Eve were the first, because it says they were the first, but yeah. it doesn't specifically say others weren't created. Yeah. If, if yeah. Well, I didn't remember. Yeah. Well, have a massive book. Have a massive, massive book. <laughs> like, you <laughs> want to go into the creation of the universe, right? Mm. Like, oh, I'm going to give you the book, it's going to, like, tell you about the creation of the universe. Two or three chapters? Is, it, is that not even that? No, like paragraphs. I think one chapter. Yeah. Well, yeah. Heaven. St- oh, stars. Darkness. Light. It's like, oh, okay. Shit. That's really simple. It's like everything needs condense it into one paragraph. Mm. Whereas a whole paragraph is also dedicated to how to own a slave. Like, they get as much playtime in the Bible... Well, slavery gets more playtime than the creation of the universe in the Bible. So he's got priorities. Like, he doesn't want to set up... Like, if it's the Bible, like, I'd set up shit to be like, whoa, that, this book's crazy cool. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, he's got priorities. He's like, okay, yeah, creation of the earth. No, 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 slavery. Like, that, let's, let's start. This, yeah. is, this is my law. Like, let's go. Like, it was like creation of the universe. More time <laughs> spent on the Leviticus and Deuteronomy. Yeah, yeah. And there isn't a creation. Like, I'll be like, scrap Leviticus, which, Levit- is which every, everyone wishes Leviticus and Deuteronomy. Yeah, every it's Christian. Yeah. Well, nearly every Christian. I'm sure, like, the Torah. They square yeah, and they like, Because death for, like, and they can say it was back then, specific time and place, served mm. its purpose, it was, you know, God was straining them out, showing them what's what. But it happened. It still happened. People, like, the penalty was death for yeah, 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 not having, happened. not observing the Sabbath. Mm. Fuck. Like, if you work on the Sabbath, you die. Mm. Chill out. That's mental. <laughs> Chill out. 